Hi friends, this is Rishi Jack Bohan Singh with this week's Dino Bite. This week, I am going to ask you a question that should doctors be there on social media? They are already available on social media, particularly on the personal reasons. But from the professional front, very few of them are there. My question is, should they should be there? I personally believe that they should be there on social media because the doctors have plethora of information and knowledge. And why to limit to a particular geographical area? Yes, if a person sitting in Germany or Singapore can take advantage of the knowledge from a doctor from Mumbai or in Kanpur or in Guwahati, why not? And social media is the best platform digitally to connect with these so-called patients. In fact, let me show, share with you one example that uh, <clears throat> if I do a search for skin specialist in Mumbai, I will get a list of doctors, for example, Dr. Mansi, Dr. Pallavi, Dr. Sejal. I don't know them personally, but it is Google has given us these names. How? They must be doing something digitally or they must be doing something on online reputation management because of which the names are coming over here. Patients, my dear friend, are always searching before come to you. And they will definitely ask difficult questions when they come to you about the disease management. That is a separate topic. So today I'm going to give you four tips which will help you build your social media branding. Number one tip, my dear friend, is start with a channel. Channel can be anything, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram. Depending on your patient's profile, build that channel and invest on that channel. Number two tip, my dear friend, is that sharpen yourself your bio, your pictures, your resume on all the social media channels. There should not be anything irrelevant which can break the trust of your patients. So ensure all the relevant things are there on the social media channels, all the social media channels. Number three tip, my dear friend, is that make professional videos, professional 10 YouTube videos and upload them on YouTube. And it can be on sharing information, it can be sharing on knowledge, it can be case study, it can be experience, it can be disease management, treatment options. You can give it on YouTube. This will build further and build a lot of trust of your patients. Number four tip, my dear friend, is consistency is the game. And you have to consistently post the relevant content on the social media platform which you are relevant upon. And make sure that you do it on daily basis, quarterly basis, or sorry, weekly basis or quarterly basis. And if you do it regularly, you will be visible to your patients and so-called patients. And of course, you can build your online reputation management, my dear friend. In fact, for many such so stories, uh, if you really liked it, I have added in my book, Are You Digital Dinosaur, which is available on Amazon. And you can refer to it if you really like it. Do subscribe to my channel. YouTube channel, press the like button, press the bell tab. And before I sign off, as they say, an apple a day keeps a doctor away. I say a post a day keeps doctors sway, keeps relevant. Anyway, live life, bale bale, and be safe, friends.